everyone. I'm really excited about this particular collaboration with Cassandra, the organised clutter bug. And the reason is Cassandra has been a real driving force behind this idea and well, you'll see in a moment just how enthusiastic she is about all things organised. So today it's all about kids artwork and Cassandra shows you, shows us all how to store organize and display kids artwork in a way that takes the pain out of it all and leaves everyone really excited. Check it out. Hi, I'm Cassandra and I'm an organizing junkie and Peter Walsh is actually my hero and inspired me to transform my house from chaotic clutter to clean. So the fact that I'm here on his channel is oh, pretty much amazing. I'm going to share with you how to keep your fridge clutter free of kids artwork. I have three budding artists of my own, so I get it. They come home with like crazy amounts of masterpieces from school and creating at home. What do you do with it all? You don't want to really keep it all, but you don't want to get rid of it either. I'm going to show you some painless ways of purging that kids artwork, but also keeping the memories that you really want forever. Nice and organized. So here we go. Here in my son's room, he's only two, but he comes home with a lot of artwork. So I love hanging it right on the wall. I use these dollar store picture frames and I just painted them to match his decor and I put up the wonderful masterpieces that he brings home with and I'm pretty selective, the ones that are really special and I know when I switch them out to put new ones in these are the ones I'm going to take photos of or keep in his memory book forever. Here in my daughter's room she has this great little magnetic board where she can pin up homework and different artwork but this is one thing that we found that really worked for us and that is just having a little bin where she can actually keep all of her artwork all of her treasures that she creates and all the stuff she really wants to keep but when this box is full it's full and what we do is we give her our digital camera and we let her take pictures of her favorites and we save them under a file called Izzy's artwork right on our desktop and we do the same thing for Abby our youngest daughter and then that way it's not overwhelming it's not all over the house but she can still go through and see her masterpieces whenever she'd like. A really quick and easy way to save artwork is to use a big photo album or scrapbook with clear plastic sleeves that you can just slip them right into. You can also add pictures and different memories, report cards, and have a quick, easy little scrapbook. Remember, kids are going to continue to grow and have more and more memories, and you just can't keep it all. By being selective and only keeping the really special pieces, you're going to appreciate it, and when they're 30 and you hand them over the box, they'll appreciate it too.